Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching. All you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. We will discuss Coinbase's decision to delist XRP in this video and what their legal counsel says about the potential timing of the relisting of XRP. Now I want to discuss why I believe Coinbase made a serious error when it delisted XRP. Nevertheless, I also want to make some educated guesses as to why they delisted it. We are all aware of the SEC's intense pressure on Coinbase. But I want to discuss a factor that is a little more speculative and that not many people are bringing up. But I believe a lot of you will find it quite fascinating. I also want to share some extremely intriguing charts with you at the end of the video because I firmly believe that a new bull run is just getting started. There are some very intelligent people in this community who believe that I am absolutely mistaken when I say this. But I want to explain why I believe that moving forward, the direction will be up and to the right. This video will therefore begin with a brief announcement. I believe you're making a grave error if you're not wrapping your flare tokens on the Frost app. Now that you can truly wrap your tokens in other places, I found that freezing is the easiest way to achieve it. Although you can use any wallet you like, I personally like to use the OS wallet because of flares and the new airdrop proposal if you wrap your tokens. Nevertheless, if you wrap your tokens, you'll be eligible for upcoming airdrops. I recently received my first airdrop, and it was rather substantial. Gentlemen, if you have the flare token and are not wrapping it, I strongly advise you to learn how to do so because, if you are not, you will be passing up a lot of benefits. As I mentioned, I was astounded when I initially saw these awards because they will continue to be given out until 2026. The benefits will only continue to grow exponentially. I'm going to continue to add flair to my purse as well. I think this is a huge opportunity, therefore. For myself, I receive my flair from Uphold and transfer it to my Frost wallet. There will be a link to Uphold in the video's description if you need it. That's my go-to store for purchasing Flair. Just be aware if you're not wrapping your Flair and are simply holding it on an exchange or even in your wallet. Find a way to package those tokens. There are a ton of videos on YouTube, and finding one after seeing this one is very simple. You won't regret it. And just in case you're curious about the prospective benefits, look at the account I've linked right now on the screen. Space with a flare gentlemen, there is a simulator that shows how many prizes you can earn. Don't put this off either. It's important that you look into this. And if you haven't already, I believe you'll be delighted that I made this news. Now that I've moved on, I want to discuss Coinbase's decision to delist XRP because I believe this was a grave error on their part. Furthermore, I believe they are making some serious long-term blunders. Hence, considering that Coinbase had only recently registered with the SEC, I wasn't too harsh on them when they originally delisted XRP. I could see how the pressure from shareholders to delist XRP was mounting. Nevertheless, the fact that Coinbase is now facing pressure on other coins and has decided against delisting these other tokens is what has actually changed the situation. Now, this is very bizarre given that Coinbase's first justification for delisting XRP was them being cautious and conservative. Look, I object to the delisting of XRP. But I don't get the reasoning behind supporting other tokens while ignoring XRP. I no longer own shares of Coinbase. But if I were, I'd be furious. The exchange on Coinbase is not that amazing. I apply it. It isn't all that good. It bothers me. There are many better exchanges available. I much prefer Uphold to Coinbase. I merely believe it to be a better product, not just because they support XRP. Thus, I don't believe it is appropriate for Coinbase to separate such a sizable community. Nothing about it makes sense. You buy cryptocurrency there, and then the majority of users move it off the exchange. You really can't be picky in separate different parts of communities just because you might not want to stand up for that particular token. Coinbase and all centralized exchanges are simply products that are kind of in a race to the bottom. Relisting XRP is now, in my opinion, Coinbase's best course of action going forward. 
As long as Judge Torres doesn't clearly state that XRP is a security, this case is ended after the second. The truth is that even if Judge Torres doesn't explicitly state that XRP isn't a security, no other token on their exchange has that clarity either. XRP will therefore be in the same Danny as every other coin they have. The other day, Coinbase chief legal officer was actually on the Thinking Crypto channel and said, oh, it would depend on the ruling and how clear it was. That just doesn't seem right to me. Coinbase shouldn't be picking and choosing which coins to support if it truly wants to defend the whole crypto industry. And I simply believe that everyone in the XRP community needs to keep in mind what they are doing here and actually go over to exchanges like Uphold since they have supported us from the beginning. The decision to use currency-based pricing is ultimately yours, but I don't think it's a very wise one. Having said all of that, I want to share with you a very intriguing, highly speculative explanation why Coinbase could not be relisting XRP. Yet the odds are against us. That has an extremely slim chance. This is the justification, but it's still very intriguing to say that it's also a pain in the you know, cryptos like XRP that could decouple from the rest of the market at any time, consume your fractional reserves, and hand you a significant loss as you rush to actually go find the real token. Hence, he is suggesting that Coinbase most likely has a large number of tokens on their exchange that aren't properly supported. Again, this is just conjecture. We have no idea how accurate it is. But the banking system operates in this manner. And many exchanges actually operate in this manner. And now, we lack evidence. They operate that way. Nonetheless, there is a lot of evidence that strongly suggests it. Do I believe that Coinbase has 100% backing for each and every coin listed on their exchange? No, I'm not aware of the ratio. I am clueless. Nevertheless, what Y2 is saying is that Coinbase could not have enough XRP to pay out XRP holders who wish to sell if the price of XRP totally soars and rips, as many of us believe might happen one day. This is now highly speculative. But I think it actually does make a lot of sense. If XRP actually had a situation in which a large nation ran a CBDC on the XRPL, and if you saw XRP increase by tens of 10,000%, if a crypto exchange doesn't have enough XRP to meet this significant price increase, it might be a huge concern. No one is aware of the veracity of this, as I previously stated. Undoubtedly, it's an intriguing theory. Also, it might clarify why Coinbase treats XRP differently from other tokens also claimed to be securities by the SEC. I want to review some price charts to wrap up this video since I genuinely believe that a new bull market is just getting started. In my opinion, the bottom has already been reached. As I have stated, I sincerely believe that this concept contradicts the viewpoint of the majority of the XRP community. There are many intelligent people who claim that the current bear market will last for a few more years and that fresh lows must yet be made. I want to walk you through my bullish argument, so let's talk about what I'm seeing and why I believe the bottom has already been reached. And the first thing I'd like to do is look at Bitcoin because, as we all know, it's what drives the market. We need to make sure Bitcoin is at least moving in the right direction if XRP is going to reach all-time highs. However, it is clear that Bitcoin has already undergone a significant capitulation moment. Additionally, we can observe that Bitcoin did, in fact, and its nearly 12-month decline. Bitcoin was steadily declining and has never even made an attempt to realistically look like it may reach new highs. But as of right now, it appears to have reversed its downward trend. And it appears to have effectively stopped its downward pace. The chart I'm about to show you is unique to cryptocurrency and will not be shown to you by anyone else. You might be wondering, Mikkel, what Nvidia has to do with the cryptocurrency market? But what I want to show you is actually the NVIDIA chart. Gentlemen, you need to understand that most institutional traders and investors aren't really sure what NVIDIA is. All they know is that it's a firm that makes GPUs and does a lot of data storage, but they don't really grasp the technology. Generally speaking, institutional investors. When they come across tech stocks, they categorize them and decide that they should all be traded collectively. NVIDIA is currently ripping back to its highs, as can be seen. Moreover, Vidya is not a stock that consistently sets new lows. 
and Vidya experiences these little dips before rapidly bouncing back to continue her tearing. But I want to draw attention to how quickly NVIDIA is returning to its previous high. The majority of institutional investors consider NVIDIA to be a hazardous stock, but they also consider Bitcoin to be a significantly riskier investment than NVIDIA. What am I trying to say here? It appears that institutions are beginning to migrate back to taking risks, as evidenced by the institutional money streaming back into NVIDIA. As a result, it won't be long until the risk on trade picks up steam and investors start seeking risk on assets that haven't run as far as video. One of those will be Bitcoin, and money will begin to return to the cryptocurrency industry. Now, why is that taking place? Why are businesses like Nvidia organizing? Why is Bitcoin set to surge then? We do, however, know that the Federal Reserve recently made a little pivot switching back to quantitative easing as everyone anticipated. After a brief period of raising interest rates and diminishing market liquidity, the Federal Reserve has suddenly resumed its quantitative easing program. But that's over. It always comes to an end quickly since our system can't handle it and things start to malfunction. Moreover, money will flow back into assets at a faster rate as market liquidity increases. Also, I believe institutional investors will feel much more at ease returning to gross assets once QE resumes and interest rates begin to decline. Even Elon Musk is currently tweeting that the Fed's data rates need to drop quickly since they are running with much too much lag. We were already down 80% to 90% from the highs, so the majority of the correction was probably already in. The moment rates start to decline, money will start to pour back into this asset class. I really believe that things are moving in a positive direction and that the worst is over. And from what I can tell, a lot has changed in the macro environment. And if you've been following this channel, you'll be aware that we made the same decision when Bitcoin was down at this location. Hey, it appears that a pivot is about to occur, as we were saying. These markets appear to be preparing for a turnaround. All that is left to do is watch for the warning indicators. What I am observing is that less risky stocks are already rising to record highs. And I believe it will only be a matter of time until the riskier stocks begin to recover. I do hope that was clear. I hope you find this viewpoint useful. Like I say every time, I have no idea what will happen. I just want to counter what a lot of other people are saying and say what I observe. Nevertheless, I sincerely hope you enjoyed reading this update. Please remember to like and subscribe if you did. Nicolau.